A big howdy, folks, is on order at the State Fair as Big Tex makes a special debut. Nicole Jacobs joins us now from Big Tex Circle at Fair Park with his new look. He's got a bunch of new duds, doesn't he, Nicole? He sure does, Karen. And look, crews are now outfitting him with his brand new boots that he got last week. In one week, the State Fair of Texas will open its gates to the public and they'll be greeted by a 25,000 pound Big Tex wearing all new gear. Before dawn Friday morning, Big Tex lies in all of his glory. A makeup artist of sorts chisels his face, putting on the finishing coat of strength, all in before dawn Friday morning, Big Tex lies in all of his glory. A makeup artist of sorts chisels his face, putting on the finishing coat of strength, all in preparation of his Texas size debut. But an interruption done only like Mother Nature can. Right now we're on the lightning delay. We had a small cell come right over us. Puts a halt to the progression. I got about five, six more minutes, and then it'll be 10 miles away and going away. In the meantime, his custom shirt takes center stage. So you can see his um, scalloped yoke is very 1940s. Um, his shotgun um, sleeve placket is very 1930s. Meredith Adair designed it all along with his workwear dickies, handcrafted piece by piece. It's like a jigsaw puzzle because, you know, the fabric's not wide enough, so we have to piece together each piece before we actually sew it together. More than 300 yards of fabric from head to toe hooked up to a 240-ton crane. We'll go ahead and raise him, and then I pull off the back tires and swing him around and put him on the hill. The hill is his home at the center of Big Tech Circle. This is our bragging rights. Where he'll don this garb for the next three years. And you're taking a live look at Big Tex as he is getting outfitted completely with his brand new boots. Uh, we're told those boots weigh 1,400 pounds just by themselves alone. Now, I can tell you the State Fair kicks off September 27th and runs through October 20th. We're live in Dallas. Nicole Jacobs, CBS 11 News.